بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين so yesterday we were talking about that then the stranger asked the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم فاخبرني عن الايمان tell me about iman prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم told him ان تؤمن بالله اي اي الايمان ان تؤمن بالله iman is this to believe in allah wa malaikatihi and when you believe in someone so you believe in him as a whole you believe in him as a whole, as a whole. got it so when you believe in allah you believe in all his attributes as well you believe in all his attributes as well so if you will do any mistake purposely in that attribute so that is a type of shirk it's a type of shirk got it in the in the angels of Allah, in the books of Allah Allah, books 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 of 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 Allah, regarding books, there is only one thing that we believe in the Bible of Jesus, and in the Old Testament of Moses, in the Psalms of David, in the Sufa of Ibrahim, in all these revealed books we do believe, but the only thing is that all of them except Holy Quran got perverted, changed. So we believe in this book as far as its original shape is concerned. And how we will find out that this thing in Bible that is original and this is perverted. Or this thing in Old Testament is original and that is perverted. Criterion is the Holy Quran. So whatever is contradicting Quran that is perverted. And whatever it does not, that is original. Now you got it. وَرُسُلِهِ and in all the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as I give you an example their belief in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam requires a belief in Isa in Musa in Ibrahim in Noor in Adam in 124,000 messengers and prophets of Allah if someone whose message and prophet is proven and a Muslim will deny and refuse him as a messenger, he will become kafir, he will lose his iman. If somebody will say that I don't believe in Jesus as messenger, he is not a Muslim. Even though he is praying five times a day, he is doing fasting, he is going to Hajj and Umrah, but he is not a Muslim. Got it? And why it is so? I gave you an example. When you start study, you go to elementary, then to middle school, then to high school, and to associate uh, diploma, then for graduation and bachelor degree, later on for master and PhD, and PhD is the ultimate end. Is it so? Yes. So if you say to someone, I believe in your PhD, but I don't believe in your elementary that you have ever gone to elementary. <laughs> yes. I believe in your PhD, but I don't believe in your GED or high school diploma, <laughs> or in your bachelor degree. Does it work? Uh, it makes sense? When you believe in his PhD, so all these previous requirements you believed in. So Muhammad is PhD, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All these messengers are prayer requirements. Got it? So that is needed. Now you understand easy? You understood easy? Yes. Wal yawm al akhir In the last day, as we mentioned in the jurisprudence class, they something which came into existence from no existence, the ultimate end day is no existence. Got it? So this word came into existence from no existence. So for sure it will have a last day when it will disappear. So it is something reasonable and logical. This but a matter of philosophy. Wali Yomil Akhir and in the last day. And to believe in Qadr in taqdeer, in destiny, in preordained divine law, that everything has already been decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in existence, it will come into existence according to the decree of Allah. If you are planning and you are tadbir, that comply with the taqdeer of Allah, so you will get what you meant. But if the tadbir of Allah is one way and your tadbir is going the other way, so then you will never get it. That's why this fluctuation is taking place. Yes, sometimes you gain, sometimes you loss. Yes, otherwise you are not doing for loss. You are doing, are working for what? 
for gain, but the degree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was other way around. So nobody can change that, the whole world cannot change the taqdeer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the important issue is that we are bound by tadbir. We are bound by tadbir, mean that we are bound to do our own planning. Yes, things will become according to taqdeer. Yes, so that's why we say, Al-Imsanu ghayru mukallafin bit taqdeer, innahu mukallafin bit taqdeer. الإنسان ليس بمكلف بالتقدير فتقدير بسر التعقيدة وانا مكلف دي He is مكلف only to believe in تقدير not to sit like this and looking at تقدير whatever Allah will decide Yes, it's not the human way of life Got it? Yes, this but a meter of not for us This is علم الكلام Just كلام علم الكلام Got it? وَتُؤْمِنُ بِالْقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ That every good and every harm is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every good and every harm. When we say every good and every bad, so sometimes we get confused. Yes, that bad is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So bad means that harm is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala sadaqta. He said you said the truth. That is true. Qala. Then the stranger asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa akhbirni ani l-ihsan. Tell me about ihsan. So what is ihsan? Ihsan is if'al from khusn. Khusn mean beauty. Khusn mean beauty. And beauty is there in things and in actions as well. Beauty is there. In things and also in actions. So here, which type of ihsan is meant? In actions. Indeed. Yes. That fa'ath bin ni anil ihsan. That tell me about ihsan, that what ihsan is. Allah said, inna la yamur bil adli. Wal ihsan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He commands you people to do justice and do ihsan. And these are the two basic constituents of taqwa. What is adal? Giving the creature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala their due right. That is adal. Justice. What is adal? Justice. Social justice. I am not talking about legal justice. Legal justice is hustle and bustle. Social justice. Where every body is judging his own self. That's called social justice. Social justice. You are the judge and you are the subject. You are the judge. And you are the subject. Legal justice, judge is the judge, but subjects are the two parties. Get it? You should write it, otherwise you will lose the term. In social justice, you are the judge and you are the subject. In legal justice, judge is the judge and parties are the subject. of one single hair, his letter is not coming up and down. So it means in Urdu we say you are Chupay Rustam. Rustam was the big general of Iran who was known for his strength. Yes, so somebody who has not shown his muscle and all of a sudden he shows it, so we say, oh, a hidden Rustam. Yeah. Excavation. Huh? Excavation. Yeah, that's ex excavation. <laughs> Like Najam. Najam, you are not typing. Why? Because I am not saying anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are done with that lesson so, or with that saying. Huh? You are done with that saying or else I am typing. Okay. I already wrote it down. Oh, he is very smart in typing. And he was not shown himself. <laughs> yes, I, I was thinking of Nassim only. But he is oh, he, he, because yesterday when I was giving dust, and he was doing this. So I asked him then, Najan, 
Have you ever played with harmonia? <laughs> So now social justice, what I said about social justice, in social justice everyone is judging himself and he is the subject himself. In legal justice the judge is judged but the parties are the subject. Got it? So in Holy Quran what Allah says, basically Holy Quran is speaking about social justice. And that was the beauty of the society of Sahaba, that there was social justice. Everybody was judging himself, they were not harming each other. Got it? And Rasulullah says in a hadith that such like society is just like Jannah. Such like society is... Huh? Because nobody has any fear of anybody. The only thing you can expect that he will be doing ihsan to me. Harm you cannot conceive. Whatever good he can do, he will do it. That what Sahaba used to do, we used to do now, Adam Fusim, Badaw Kanabe, Asasa, even though if they were in very big need of a thing, but if they heard about somebody else that he needs this, so he gave priority to his need. And he took the thing to him, he take it. This yours. Got it. So, In Allah Yamuru bin Adli wal Ihsan. So social justice, that is relation of human to each other. And Ihsan in Ayah we said that that is the relation of human to Allah. As we mentioned every time that human has basically two aspects. His relation to Allah, his relation amongst each other or amongst themselves. What he is bound for as far as his relation with Allah is concerned. That is one thing. What he is bound for as far as the relation to each other is concerned. That's Adam. Got it? And this is Taqwa. Yes? If a person will get into in both, so that is Taqwa. So Taqwa has two constituents, Adal and Ihsan. So Adal means fulfill or give everybody his due right. And Ihsan means give Allah his due right. You will never have a lot of things. That's why you are here. Yes. Qarafah bin Nihan al Ihsan. They tell me something about Ihsan. Qar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Antahud Allah ka anna katarahu. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you are looking at him. Or you see him. فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَا That is the exemplary level of Ihsan. That you worship Allah as you see him. Got it? فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَا كَا فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَى And if you are not seeing him truly, so he sees you. If you are not truly seeing him, or sees him, so he is seeing you. So now look, just apply it through an example. When highway patrol is not there on the freeway, so on 14, people are rushing like crazy. Yes, because that is straight road, freeway towards Pondel. So people are running like crazy. But the moment from an entrance, one single slim guy, highway patrol, yes, in his car, he shows up, yes, subhanAllah. Suddenly, the brakes. Yes, you will see all the red lights. Yes. In the back, the red signal, the bright lights. Yes. That what happened? Oh, I get that road. He is sending the air. Now, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us that you see the highway patrol, how you become liable in citizen. Yes. If you see Allah, how you will be a liable in Muslim? 
So that will make you more sane, and that is Ihsan. Got it? Highway patrol. Sometimes he exists and sometimes he does not. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists everywhere and every time. So why you are violating the rule then? Therefore the hadith means, أَن تَعْبُدَ اللَّهِ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكَ قَالَ The next one he said, the stranger, فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَنِ السَّاعَةِ Tell me something about the hour. Sa'a means what? The hour. So which hour? When the world will disappear. So that's why we give the technical meaning to Sa'a. Tell me something about Qiyamah. About what? Okay, otherwise Sa'a little meaning is the hour. But that will also be an hour when that thing will take place. Yeah, and uh, I think that that's the actual hour. Other hours are Harizi. That's some Puray. That's the permanent hour. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him Mal mas'oolu anha bi'ala min as-sail The one questioned about it knows no better than the one who questions about it. What a beautiful word he said. That the one who is questioned about it he knows no better than the one who questions about it. Means that I do not know about Qiyamah better than you. Means you do not know, that's why you are asking. But I cannot answer because I do not know even. So he said that the one who is questioned, he knows not better than the one who questions. How you will see the word? The one huh, who is questioned who is questioned, not knows better than the one who questions. Beautiful word. This is the miracle. Man maskul anha bi a'la min as-sayil. Qala. So the stranger said, fa ahbirni ala maratiha. So tell me about its signs and symbols. The time, date, year you do not know. But there will be some signs. Qala. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I said, Antalid al-amatu rabbataha. Antalid al-amatu rabbataha. When the slave girl will give birth to her mistress. When the slave girl will give birth to her mistress. It has two explanations. One is that even though slavery is not there, but at that time it was there. Yes. So look, as we were talking about Ummul Walad, the slave girl, if the master will have sexual intercourse with and she delivers a baby, so that baby liberates her, not enslaves us. We mentioned that or not? Yes. That baby will, if not now, but it will liberate her when? When the master dies. When the master dies, right at the moment she becomes free. Why? Because of that baby, that she delivered the baby for her master. Now you got it? Got it? So now baby is actually the source of liberation of mother. But Rasulullah said that Islamic rules will be ruined and violated to that extent that the baby will be the master of the parents. Baby will be the master of the parents. Got it? They will rule their parents. They will rule a daughter, will rule her mother. A daughter. So that is actually the disobedience of parents. And that is the disobedience of parents. Of the children. Disobedience of the children to the parents. There's a mahdoof there? There's a hidden thing there? That the Islamic laws will be so... No, there is no mahdoof, that's explanation. The Islamic law says that the baby will liberate the mother. Baby will liberate the mother, but still they will be selling the, 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 the slave girl who is on the world as well. So that's an example. So generally the concept is that Islamic laws will be ruined. And then they will not take care of Islamic law, that's what Islam says. Like the one for whom his slave girl delivered a baby, but he doesn't think what Islam says about this slave girl of mine. That she will get liberated and set free after my death, but he will be selling her. 
as a slave girl, which is not allowed, that is prohibited. That's one example. Got it? And number two, antar al khufada al ghurata al alata ri'a al shah yatatawaruna fil bunyan, and that you will see the barefooted. So why somebody is walking barefooted? Because he cannot afford shoes. When you will see the barefooted, al ghurata naked, al alata destitute, poor people, ri'a al shah horsemen, yatatawaruna fil bunyan. Constructing or competing in constructing lofty buildings. So we can apply it to the Arabian world. What they were? They were horsemen. Mostly did not have dress, barefooted, got it, destitute. Now their competition is going on. Al Khalifa building. Burj Al Khalifa. And now there is another Burj, Burj Al Haram. And there will be another board of lofty buildings that their competition will be going on in lofty building. Is the little meaning of the hadith? Got it. But there is a technical meaning of hadith. And Abu Hurairah an in one hadith he narrates, but these words in a different way. He says, Wa antar al khufat al ghurat, walat al hukuma. And the Khufat al Hurat, when you will say the barefooted the naked people, mean those who are not deserving. Those who are not deserving. The non deserving people, they will be in power and in authority. So then this is Muhawara. This word? Muhawara. This is Muhawara, a proverb. Figurative meeting is meant. So by naked, Barefooted horsemen, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he meant those who are not deserving something. Got it? So this this uh, this interpretation is given there in the hadith of Abu Hurairah. Because he mentioned one tarat khufat al-urada, wulat al hukuma Or in another word, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked by Sahaba, Matas Sa'atu Ya Rasulullah, when the Qiyamah is going to happen. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Rizazui Yatil Amana, when the trust is destroyed. When the amana is destroyed, when the amana is destroyed, so they said, Wakefa, how will be the ziya or the destruction of amana? So Prophet says, is our Siddhal Amru, Ila Ghayri Ahliya, when something is given to someone who is not deserving. Is our Siddhal Amru, Ila Ghayri When the job is given to someone who is not professional. When the job is given to someone who is not eligible for that. Got it. So this is not the only case. It means that all the rules got ruined. When their thing took take place in a government or in a state, so every system is destroyed. Yes, their people are not taking care of merits. They are not taking care of merits. They are giving it either based on relation, based on friendship, based on bribe. Jobs are given based on what? Relations based on friendship, friendship based on right. So it means people are not eligible and they are given. So, what will be the result? They will destroy their department. Yes, we see in Pakistan non eligible people they are given big, big job because of their political affiliation. Baby has gone, PA is gone, street business gone, all these big, big projects totally destroyed. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Hadith, Ya Subhanallah, Man walla za qarabatin muhabatan, Man walla za qarabatin muhabatan, Lam yajid araf al-jannah, Kama qala alayhi salatu wa salam, Whosoever given a job, To someone based on nepotism, Without eligibility, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, That entering to jannah is way too much, He cannot have the fragrance of jannah even. What a beautiful hadith this is. Manwalla, was this prophet was a, a man. This prophet was a man. He learned something. Manwalla, zaqrabatin muhabata. He did not say manwalla zaqrabatin. Because there will be one relative of yours, your son or your brother or whatever. He will be the most eligible person. And you are the boss. You are not giving him the same job because he is related to you. That's also zulam. 
کہ سولیٹ سوائی پرابیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فوٹ ایک کنڈیشن محابات ہے بیسڈ آن ریپورٹ سیزن اونلی ویڈاوٹ ایلیجیبلیٹی دس پرابیٹ واز پوٹنگ تنگ لائک دی چیس آر لائک دی چیس پانس ان ایس پرابر پلیس ایوری ورڈ ایس ایس پرابر پلیس ایک مرمول لازا قرابت محابات ہے لم یجید عرف الجنہ او کما قال علیہ السلام رائی دم دس حدیث you wrote it regarded on faith وانظر الحفاة الغراة العالة رعاشة يتطاولون في البنيان سر من طلقا سر عمر سيد رضي الله تعالى the stranger left stranger asked these four questions and then سر من طلقا فلا بالسمالية سر من طلقا then he took himself off فلا بالسمالية and I stayed for it a while with رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سر مقال and then the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said يا عمر said sir أتدري من السائل Do you know who was the one who was questioning? I said, sir, I don't know. قُلْتُ أَلَّهُ وَرَسُولُ الْعَالَمِ I said that Allah and His Messenger know that who was that man? قَالَ Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says فَإِنَّهُ جِبْرِيلِ That was Archangel Jibreel أَتَاكُمْ He came in this strange shape يُعَلِّمُكُمْ دِينَكُمْ To teach you your deen. Teach you your deen means that when you are sitting with the Prophet so don't ask him fool questions. Just ask question which is a benefit for you people. Like I am asking. Got it? Are you alim akum dinakum? These were the things to be questioned and to be asked for. But you people did not. So he came to teach you deen. That what is Islam? What is Iman? What is Ihsan? And when the Qiyamah will happen? Rawahu Muslim. Aukama Qala alayhi salatu wa salam. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Salatu wa salam. Allah wa sakirna min Qur'an wa nisina alim. Shame on